Kylie Morris talking to the EU's Federica Mogherini. Well, I'm joined now from New York by the Trump supporter and conservative commentator Anne Coulter. Welcome to the programme again. Why do you think Donald Trump keeps saying the security of our nation is at stake uh, when the judges have made it absolutely clear that the government has presented no evidence that any alien from any of the countries named in the order has perpetrated an attack on the United States? Um, well, two things. The judges can say that, but it isn't true. It isn't true at all. In fact, two of the famous cases just in, in the last year, the Somali who, who started stabbing people and running them over at Ohio State University. And then at Christmas time, um, the Somali uh, refugee um, who started stabbing people at a, at a shopping mall. You're not going to start Saint talking Club. about the Bowling Green Massacre, are you? Quite recent. Um, I, I was the one who first introduced that to the world, and um, no, I know what happened since I found out about it from reading the court transcripts and writing about it, including in my book, Adios America. But for, so point one, the court's factual finding is wrong. Point two, it is not up to the court to make this factual finding. And it may sound um, like this is some horrible defeat for the president um, to untrained ears, but you know, there are a thousand judges. The Ninth Circuit is the most overruled circuit, and the law is absolutely unequivocally clear that it is the president who set, sets immigration policy. Policy. The courts have found that over and over and over again, that it is an extension of foreign policy. This is absolutely within the president's discretion. We don't need to hear from any federal judges on this, but we do have a lot of lawless judges. And well, the, the judges make it clear them. it's I mean, not. Just I because mean, they go last doesn't make them more important than the president. I don't the know president whether... is, has powers that courts don't. Yeah, I don't, don't know whether you're a lawyer, but I mean, these judges are, and they're, they're yes, pretty clear that, uh, you know, the, the idea that a presidential order on immigration <laughs> can't be reviewed just isn't true. I mean, look, we'll see when this goes to the Supreme Court. <laughs> but the wider question is about Trump's relationship with the truth. Because as days go on, it's more and more clear that what comes out of the president and his administration just can't be trusted. And, you know, you have to wonder whether at first you thought it was... Maybe he just doesn't know. Maybe these are just mistakes. But it, now it's starting to look deliberate. It's starting to look like deliberate misinformation. Um, well, that just, without any specific example, I mean, I just well, had to okay, let me you give you a few. the judges on a factual claim. You just re repeated something that is factually untrue, that no one from these countries, I mean, there, there are dozens of them, have been dozens arrested and convicted for committing terrorism, and plus which, it doesn't matter. Well, I look it forward to you sending me the matter. list of dozens. This is part of the president's... I mean, let, let's take a, you know, Why if you take, you if you take the Pulitzer Prize winning <laughs> political you read fact, them? Who Wait, are, will you agree who are, right who are now? renowned fact checkers. Will you read if you them look on at their air? Score, I mean, you make this snotty little remark. No, I'd be I'll, perfectly happy to send you not only do, dozens do, of, do send them of, over. of cases, do send them over. of convictions. No, you're just being snotty and sarcastic. No, I'm there trying to. Let, let's, let's get to the cases. questions. I mean, look, and the, the no point one is. To a factual case that does not require. I just gave you two, and anyone in America certainly I'm When Donald you Trump don't know about the said the Ohio murder rate State in our country is the highest it's been in 47 or the years. The St. Cloud Mall stabbing. Um, I can also give you two cases that I think you ought to remember. It were, they were certainly big cases in America. One was the president sending home Elian Gonzalez to Cuba. The court found, yes, he will be persecuted in Cuba, but immigration is solely the discretion of the president. Okay, then let's just look Obama, at some of the Trump untruths. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't just keep talking. I want to ask you some questions. If you look at PolitiFact, the fact-checking website, I mean, they score <laughs> Donald Trump's well, truthfulness extremely badly. I mean, the murder rate in our country is the highest, highest it's been in 47 years, he said. Completely untrue. Uh, I've already saved more than $700 million when I got involved in the negotiation on the F-35. Mostly false. When he claimed that the media doesn't deliberately report on terrorist attacks around the world, it was nonsense. I mean, you can keep saying he tells the truth. It's okay. clear to everybody I else he doesn't. No, I rate PolitiFact mostly false. Um, so first, you have already given two false facts. Um, well, three, actually. Um, we have the two I just mentioned. Yes, there have been terrorist attacks from these people. And yes, it is solely the, set, the president's prerogative um, in the little package that came on before That's I went That's an on, argument. It's not a fact. Absolutely. That's a legal argument. It's not a fact. To 
It is a fact that the Supreme Court has said the precise words that immigration as an extension of the president's foreign policy is it is up to the president. They have said, and I just gave you two famous cases so you don't have to look up the case well, law. Well, address the wall the of Arizona murder. Law, what about the murder claim? Um, the Elian Gonzalez case. What about the murder and, claim? Well, how about the claim that... Um, you're was it true? That was, was it true? They said months ago, and it was true. And you know what it was, was untrue? True. That you just told your viewers. You just told your viewers that it's unprecedented for a, for a president to attack judges. Obama did it at the State of the Union address, um, attacking judges. I mean, this idea we have President Trump all over magazines with you know crosshairs of an assassination target on his face, but we can't criticize these precious judges. No liberals. Like judges because they're not elected and they can just invent stuff and say, oh, we read it in the Constitution. But the question is whether it's presidential, whether it's appropriate for the leader of the free world. The reason it upsets so many people in Britain is because Britain loves America or many people in Britain love America. And when the president appears to be tweeting about Nordstrom and his daughter's range of clothes, uh, rather than the very serious problems that there are in the world and the terrible terrorist attack in, in Canada that he still hasn't mentioned anywhere, People find that really worrying, and you don't seem to find it at all embarrassing. That's what's surprising. Um, no, to the contrary. I've um, criticized him on the Nordstrom tweet, too. What? No, we shouldn't have done that. Congratulations. Um, you got one. Uh, but yet you did misstate a fact that is certainly not slowing him down from defending America. He's, he's a, a bundle of activity and he's able to impose these, these travel restrictions and fight with the court and nominate a Supreme Court justice. Oh, he can do it all and send out a mildly inappropriate tweet. Do you think he will be offended by what's been said to him about his British trip, you know, that the Speaker of the House of Commons doesn't want him anywhere near uh, addressing uh, the, the House in the way <laughs> Barack Obama did. Would he care? No, I don't think his feelings will be hurt. I think well, he'll get over it. He's well, the leader of the free care world. About He's protecting America. <laughs> I mean, he does want this visit. Uh, He's talked about how important Britain much. is I mean, and the he... special relationship. And... Yeah, it is. So it you, is. Um, British, Britain is an important ally. And oh, you, you just gave, I think, six false facts. You claim that the British are appalled by Trump. Well, according to the polls I see, they like that. No, they're no, more in a favor lot of, of this a lot of British people. I mean, you know, I, 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 I won't claim yeah, to speak for my country, but a, a lot of people are appealed. That, that, that's that's pretty clear. You know, whether <laughs> a it's a majority or not, who knows? Everything. You know. A lot of people are appalled about everything. To be acting like you're speaking for the British people and you're appalled by Trump, no, that is manifestly not true. I, I, my guess is you thought they were appalled by the Brexit vote, too. Do, do you think... And yet it passed. But do you think the way this first most important executive order uh, on, on, on the travel ban um, was well handled? Because, I mean, you know, we've now learned an awful lot about how it was executed, the extent to which Donald Trump really was aware of precisely what was going on, the extent to which Steve Bannon was involved in it. I mean, do you think it was handled professionally? Or, or, or do they need to learn, um, you know, from this and do things better? No, the only thing they need to learn, and boy have they learned it, is that there will be massive resistance to anything Trump tries to do on immigration, which was the main reason he was elected president in a shocking victory. I mean, for Pete's sake, he's never held elective office. He's this sort of wild, brash billionaire. It's not like Americans looked around the country and said, let's put, let's put a reality TV star in the White House. No, it was because of his positions on immigration that have been ignored by both political parties and the media for decades and decades. And there is going to be massive resistance for every little thing he does. And this was a very little thing. And there was some confusion for a while in the press about whether Obama had, had in fact, um, imposed the same travel ban yeah, for six months. Yeah, that wasn't true either, um, was at it? At some point on Syria. I, I didn't say it was. Um, perhaps you reported it. Maybe that's another false fact I'm getting from you guys. I'm just saying that it wasn't an, extent, it, an insane extension because these are the seven countries designated as terrorist countries, or as Madeleine Albright, Albright changed the terminology, countries of particular concern. These are the seven terrorist countries and designated culture. by Hillary Clinton's State Department under Obama. To have a two-month travel pause? I mean, this we, is the We've got to leave it there. We've got to have a pause. Like I hope it won't be two months before you come back. Ann Coulter, thank you very much.